welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about Train to Busan. This is my third and final installment for my part of 20 of 20 that the Farsed Network is doing, where we picked a couple of our favorite films from that, you know, 2000 to 2020 period. And I had to pick Train to Busan. I really, really, really like this movie. I'm always that snob that's like, zombies shouldn't run. That's not how they work. They should be shambly. But uh, the, they actually terrified me in this movie because they do move that fast. And the movie centralizes around a single dad and his daughter. He and his wife are no longer together. And he is taking her on a train to Busan so she can go hang out with mom. And of course... This is all happening during a zombie outbreak, and particularly, you know, in the train stations, in the trains themselves. Like, the worst possible place you could have an encounter with a zombie is probably a very fast-moving train. I can't think of anything worse. I can think of worse things, but that's pretty terrible. So, we get to know uh, the little girl. We get to know her dad. We also get to know a couple of other characters that we learn to love or learn to hate and then end up loving because sometimes they redeem themselves. So, I mean, there's not too much else I can say without really spoiling things. So I'm just going to leave it off here. As I said, the zombies are very, very fast moving. This movie is subtitled, so if you're not into that, you might want to skip it. Um, I really liked that they did a lot of character development with... Uh, there's one character in particular who's kind of like this shitty stereotypical businessman who's just out for himself, only cares about himself. And you do get to learn a bit more about him. There is the boxer and his pregnant wife, who I adored this man, the things he would do to keep him and his wife and his unborn child safe. It's just like, oh, it was, it was amazing. This movie made me feel so many things, not just scared, not just, you know, very seriously invested in things, but it made me, you know, it broke my heart. It brought me joy. Just the levels of Ah, just, it's, there's so many layers to this movie and I really, really enjoyed it. I really loved how the zombies looked. You know, they weren't necessarily the decaying th zombies you stereotypically think of, like Land of the Dead or The Walking Dead or anything like that. And, uh, you didn't always know that someone was a zombie at first and then people realize how the virus is transmitted. What did I dislike about this movie? I felt like some of the pacing was a little bit off. I felt like they lingered a little too much um, on certain parts of the story. Not that other people wouldn't enjoy it, but, you know, I kind of like things to get to the point pretty quickly because I just want to keep seeing action. Uh, I think I would rate this. Probably a four out of five. I love this movie. I still need to watch the prequel. I know that's animated and I'm really excited about that. Um, I feel like we watched this either in Netflix or Amazon Prime. It is streaming somewhere on there. It's also available in physical copy if you want to get your hands on it. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Did you watch the prequel? Let me know what you thought about that as well. What's your favorite zombie movie? I always love to know, you know, if people have a particular type of zombie movie they go for or a particular time frame that the movie came out and that they really prefer. So leave me a comment down below. If you did like the video, you could give it a like. If you enjoy zombies, you could give it a like. Um, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can... Find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And my solo reviews as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creator submissions for this as well. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.